Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a tutorial on this look right here. We're doing a gold freckled Coachella look. We have like a little bit of a cat eye going on here. If you're interested in seeing how I created this, please keep watching. All right, so I've already primed my eyes. I Same thing as always, literally the same thing I've done every time. And my inspiration for today is going to be this photo right here. That's better. That's it, but I'm gonna add my own little touch to it. Just, I really like the warm, smoky browns. It's usually my go-to anyway. No liner, lashes, and you know, the pop of gold, but I'm gonna do some things to make it, you know, my own. So to start, let me see. I think I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions palette and start there. And I think I'm gonna go in with this brown color here at the bottom. And I'll take a, what is this? My M441 Morphe brush. It's a blending brush. I'm just gonna lather that into the crease. Lather that, put it in the crease, whatever. I'm gonna actually zoom you in a little bit. Hi. Honestly, I've never been to a music festival. So, um, unless Warped Tour counts. Actually, that's not a festival, it's only one day, but that was my shit back in the day, and I'm really sad that this year is the last one. Yeah, I just, I've never had any desire to go to Ultra. That's really not my jam. I was talking to Mackenzie about it the other day, and I mean, if anything, like, I'm sure, I'm sure that, like, if I wanted to spend all that money and go to Coachella, I could, I would, but I don't know. Bonnaroo looks like fun. I love the camping aspect of it. I think it'd be pretty cool. I know friends that have gone, but, like, again... Just never, never have gone around, gone around to do it. Okay, so next I'm gonna take my Morphe 350 palette and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, this shade right here. It looks exactly the same, but it's a little bit darker than the one that I just put in my crease. So just gonna go over top of that and deepen everything up, smoke it out a little bit more. And I'm using the same brush. I have lash glue all over my lashes and it's really annoying. Yeah, we're just playing and building with browns right now. Um, I'm not really doing anything fancy color wise. And I like, I never know cause like Coachella is such like a boho chic event festival. And like, I feel like people do their makeup more naturally or like try to do that like no makeup makeup look type stuff or just very fresh faced, you know? And I just, I don't know. And glam it up a little bit here. I think the most stressful part about the whole thing is finding outfits because I'm helping my friend Mackenzie and she's scressing real hard because she's going, she's actually moving to LA in May. Yeah, it seems really, I, don't, I wouldn't know what to wear. I really wouldn't. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go in with this color right here. It's a little more red, but still brown. And then I'll probably go in with, where is it? This color right here next, yeah. I'm gonna do those two. And I think I'll take my R39 for this. Just have a different brush. Imagine if Morphe put like mirrors in their massive palettes. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, I love this color. Jamie Genevieve just posted a photo. Gotta go like it. Hang on. I love her, I really do. I need her to teach me how to take selfies. Or like all of us, how to take her selfies because they always come out so well and I never, I just don't know how to hold a camera. I guess. I'm good at being behind, or like in front of it, but like taking my own photos, selfies, and like even with like the view screen on my Sony one, very difficult to use or figure out. But I do really like this brush to pack on color and then blend it out because it's fluffy enough that it can blend things really nice, but then it's still also dense enough that it packs things on really well. And honestly, like, yeah, there's a lot of debate about Morphe brushes and how, like, they're cheap and they fall apart, but I've never had an issue with them. They are really great and, I don't know, I just don't want to spend, like, $25 on a fucking brush. Alright, going with that second color with the same brush. I'm gonna keep this a little bit towards the middle and then bring it out as well. I'm gonna keep it lower, too, instead of taking it up like I've done with all the other colors. I love a good, like, warm brown eye. I'm just taking the brush now and 
kind of pull in the colors out kind of into a wing shape and yeah that looks pretty good to me i kind of want to keep it like this warm color this warm brown i don't want it to i don't want to smoke it up too much do i no this is fine i'm just gonna go back in with this darker color though and take it on my lash line because this glue is really fucking with me today that was a big chunk and i just ripped out one of my eyelashes uh -huh. i think with like browns especially when you're using a lot like blending is really important so make sure you're going back in with like a fluffy brush like i usually take my synthetic ones um like my b38 or this r34 they're just kind of fluffy on the end i just kind of make sure that it's all diffused out nicely i'm sure natural bristled ones work well too but i just feel like my synthetic ones really do it for me as well okay i don't know why i keep closing this because i use it as my mirror so now I know I've seen some different like things on in, on Pinterest with like how you can do because I don't want to copy it exactly, you know, like I don't like doing that. Okay, so I'm going to take the NYX Studio Liquid Liner in Extreme Gold. They don't make this anymore. So the other thing that you can do is take, I did this for a shoot um, a while back. I have the Tarte, what is this called again? Chrome Paint shadow pot and pot of gold it's literally going everywhere you can take some of it out scoop it out and whatnot and then mix some oil with it and it'll turn into a paint so depending if this isn't pigmented enough for me i'll probably go over it with that tart stuff but what i'm gonna do is this and am i zoomed in all the way there i'll just get in a little bit closer now because why not i'm just gonna pop it right here in the crease. And I'm just gonna like taper it out like I would, like I would like a normal wing. And what I'm also gonna do is do two little dots right here. Like a weird little exclamation point, I guess. And then I'm gonna do this like, not a real wing, but like a full, little cat eye effect type deal. I don't know. An empty wing, an unfilled in wing. I'm gonna stop it like the dots are just between there. And then I'll probably go over this again. Can you see it? I can't tell, can you see it? And then same thing for the other eye. Okay, that's good for now. I guess I'll do my lashes now too. I also think I might be allergic to lash glue now that I think about it. I started using different ones, like different duo ones instead of the black one that I usually use. And I think it's irritating my lash line. Let me tell you, you could totally just not do lashes for this as well. Like, I feel like the last thing I would want to do at Coachella is worry if my lash is falling off. If your lashes are long enough, you can give them like a curl and then pop on like some volumizing or lengthening mascara and you'd be good to go. You know, you could totally just leave it like this, but I like my lashes. So I'm going to use my duo eyelash adhesive. This is the dark tone and it comes in the little squeezy bottle. I think the biggest thing about lashes is that you need to make sure you have enough on like the outer corners because that's, once those pop off, you're miserable. At least I am. I think this is my left one. There's one. And these are the Ardell... 817s, the foam ink ones, and lashes are on. If you guys do want me to do like a how I do my false lashes, like how I put them on video, let me know because I usually just jump ahead. But there are millions of lash videos out there, so you can always watch those too. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go off camera and do my face. For the most part, it's pretty normal, but I'll let you know what I use. BRB. All right, so I did my face makeup and <clears throat> that's about it. Oh, I meant to do my brows. Uh, I'll do that in a minute. So I am now going to bronze and highlight my face. Uh, for this, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills, their new bronzers, and this is in Rich Amber. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. I'm just going to give myself some brown skin. I have Laffy Taffy stuck in my head. I don't know why. And as far as my face goes, uh, foundation-wise, 
I guess I'll go in order of what I actually did. I used the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. This is one of my favorites right now just because it smooths everything out and covers up most of my pores. Really need to go get another facial soon. And then I mixed my Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation with my Cover FX Drops to give the skin some glow, but I really don't know if it's showing up anymore. I feel like anytime I try to get that like really glowy skin, it just kind of goes away whenever I use my shape tape. Not really sure why. Yeah, for concealer wise and highlighting my face or the high points of my face, I use my shape tape as always in the shades light neutral and fair neutral, but yeah, my skin's really angry with me for whatever reason. I have all these random breakouts. I did just start taking birth control again though, so I'm not really sure if that has something to do with it. I really don't know. Blend this shit out over here. Also, if you are going to any festivals this time of year over the summer, make sure you're also wearing sunscreen because shit will age you and sunburns are bad. I'm gonna contour my nose. Oh, I did finish my under eye, obviously. Added mascara. I lined my waterline, upper and lower, with the NYX Slide On Glide On Eyeliner Pencil. They're really inexpensive and pretty, pretty good. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. So now for highlight, I'm actually going to take the Dose of Colors Desi Katie Collection um, Fuego Highlighter. Just gonna take my, I, I think it's the R36. All my numbers have worn off on these brushes, so I can't really tell. I would have used the Omrizi highlight, but I kind of wanted something a little bit more golden. This is a very good highlighter. Clean up under here. Okay, that's gonna be better. Okay, 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 okay. So for my brows, where's my brow button? I kind of want them a little bit fluffier and like natural. So I'm just gonna not do them as glam as I usually do. But I'm using my same dip brow pomade and I'm just gonna go in here and do these. Setting with the brow gel. And this is what will make them stand up a little bit more. Okay, so now that that's done. So what I wanted to do for this was those faux freckles that are apparently a really big trend. But what I wanna do is my own little take. So I'm just gonna start dotting with these brown, these are LA Girl brow pencils, but I kind of just wanna use them to like map out the freckles. And like, I've never done this shit before, so please bear with me. Like, I'm gonna do something a little bit different with them too. Okay, these are like not working. So what I'm gonna do actually is take this like little silicone Real Techniques liner thing and use my pomade to do them because this is not working. Can you even see them on my face? I used to really hate this trend, I don't know why, but I was like, that's so stupid. And now, when I had my idea, I was like, oh. So what I'm gonna do now is take my Pato Gold from Tarte. So, now that I have like some freckles down on my face, what I'm gonna do is do gold freckles over them because Coachella. No idea if you can see these. There we go. Okay, so thank, thankful for Otis for chewing up my blender here, but I just am gonna dip that little top part into the blended up stuff, and I just am gonna stamp it on my face. It gives it that kind of scattered about effect. Patches almost, instead of just little dots. Maybe if we used... Yeah, sorry you guys, I did it again where I do this whole like winging it thing and... Alright, so I'm just gonna finish up this and like come back and show y'all what I did. Okay? Okay. Alright, so this is the finished look. I popped on some earrings. These are little moon ones I got from Urban Outfitters when I was in Miami. And then this is just... I got this on Amazon, I think. And it's really just like an arrangement of chokers. Is festival ish. <laughs> so, uh, lip color wise, I'm wearing the NYX lingerie lipstick, liquid lipstick, and push up. This is one of my favorite nudes ever. Um, but underneath it, I have on the mahogany lip pencil from NYX and the slide on lip pencil or lip liner in nude suede shoes. Two of my favorite liners, just to deepen it up a little bit, give it a little different of a base color. Figured out the freckles. You can see them a little bit better. They're gold, it doesn't look like a patchy mess anymore. I used this kabuki brush that I have and 
I did some of my brown and then I put gold on here and I just stamped it on my face and it worked really well. So thank you guys so much for uh, tuning into my channel today, dropping in to hang out with me, watching this, whatnot. If you really like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. The little button's right down there somewhere. And if you are interested in seeing more festival looks, please subscribe to my channel because I will have about four other ones coming out in the next couple weeks. So yeah, thank you so much for watching again and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.